class. Um, I, today I decided that I'm going to go through the PowerPoint with you. It seemed to be a little bit easier than doing anything else. So we're going to go through the vocab for today. Um, Aujourd'hui, on va réviser le vocabulaire de bien du chapitre 5. Vocabulaire de, uh, c'est le, le vocabulaire des um, passe-temps. For, so this is vocab pastimes, but this is the second set from what we reviewed yesterday. So I'm hoping that it's going to be uh, just a quick review for you before we get on to learning the next set of vocab, which is basically like childhood activities. So I thought this would be a good kind of way to transition into that. So la première question, quel mot de vocabulaire va avec les images suivantes? Okay, so on a déjà vu ça, déjà vu, we've already seen this, à la bibliothèque, au café, au cinéma, au centre commercial, au stade, au parc, à la MJC ou la Maison des gens et de la culture, c'est comme le YMCA ici, aussi à la piscine, à l'école et au lycée. Now, on your uh, Google slide for today, on your presentation, I want you to translate all of these words for me. All right, we're going to translate all of those words. Okay, où vas-tu, où vas-tu? Uvatu is where are you going? So uvatu, we're using inversion here. Uvatu, je vais obviously means I'm going. So je vais au théâtre. Au théâtre, I'll give you a second to think about it. To the theater, très bien. À la plage, à la plage. To the beach, excellent. Au cybercafé, cybercafé. At the Cyber Cafe. We don't really have these here in the States, but they're really popular overseas. At least they used to be. Um, and it's basically just like an internet cafe. So basically when people didn't have Wi-Fi at home, this is where they went to access the internet. À la mer. On aime uh, plonger à la mer. We like to dive in the sea. Très bien. Et ça, c'est une baleine. Une baleine? What do you think une baleine is? À la campagne, à la campagne, j'aime faire du camping à la campagne. So, I like to go camping at the countryside. Très bien. Au club, uh, ça c'est uh, spécifiquement pour les sports. So, like sports clubs and quelque chose comme ça, things like that. Au zoo, eh, c'est très facile. Zoo, excellent. J'aime regarder les animaux comme les girafes et les lions et les pingouins et d'autres animaux and other animals. So I said I like to see giraffes and lions and penguins and a bunch of other animals. Au lac, on aime uh, pêcher au lac. We like to fish in the lake. Très bien, c'est joli. It's pretty with all the autumn colors. À l'opéra, à l'opéra, c'est très facile. Opera house, très bien. Et ça, c'est une photo de moi et mon mari quand nous étions en, en France, when we were in France. So I just used the imparfait, which you guys will be learning next, étions, when we were in France. And this was the actual opera house there. And little did I know that you weren't supposed to take pictures, but I took some pictures before I saw the sign. So we just won't tell anybody. Okay, à l'opéra encore. And this was the ceiling of the opera house. You can see we like taking weird photos like old couples. À la patinoire. Uh, à la patinoire, c'est où j'aime faire du patin à glace. À la patinoire, the ice rink. Très bien. En hiver, in winter. Et au musée, and he guesses on au musée, at the museum. Très bien. And so this is at the uh, Musée du Louvre, the Louvre Museum, when we were inside there. And you can see everything's pretty much made out of marble. And they have little cutouts for like little sculptures and the bigger sculptures are out in um, the open. And so, au musée, I'll give you a guess if you can tell me what this picture is in French in the in the Google slide. You can just leave it as a comment. So, I'll give you a point if you can tell me what that is in French. And so, um, without saying her name, this was the you know what. <laughs> and she is inside a wall with bulletproof glass around here. She's been stolen quite a bit. Um, so I'll tell you guys the name in English. So this is the Mona Lisa and you can see this is quite a few people. This is quite a lot of people and this is actually zoomed in. So I was even further away than the actual camera makes it look like. So she's very, very, very popular. Okay. Et aussi au musée, on a, so this is the entrance. This is the little pyramid, the glass pyramid that you see outside the Musée du Louvre and this, the Louvre in the background here. You can see my husband, he's looking cute. 
So in here, this is basically the entrance. So the entrance is off to the side over here. And once you go down the stairs, this like glass block basically provides light for the entrance. And so the main floor is down here and then you can go up floors all the way out to the top here to see things that are in the museum. À la montagne, c'est très facile. À la montagne, c'est mountain. So on aime faire du ski à la montagne. On aime faire du ski à la montagne. Okay, uh, we're going to skip past that. Quel temps fait-il? And guesses on what quel temps fait-il is? What's the weather like? Très bien, what's the weather like? So, il fait chaud. Uh, ce n'est pas la même chose comme il fait froid. Il fait chaud, c'est en hiver, il fait chaud. Et en été, il fait froid. So, in winter, it's cold. And in the summer, it's hot. Et il fait beau, ce n'est pas la même chose que il fait mauvais. So, il fait beau is not the same thing as il fait mauvais. Um, il fait beau, c'est en été, in summer, it's nice out. Et en hiver, il fait mauvais, in winter, it's not nice out. It's bad outside. Just because everything gets muddy and everything like that. Il pleut, uh, il pleut en avril, spécifiquement. Specifically in April, it rains. Et ça, c'est le verbe to rain, pleuvoir. So, il pleut is a conjugation of pleuvoir. Et il neige, il neige en hiver. En hiver, il neige. In winter, it snows. Et ça, c'est le verbe to snow. Neiger is the verb to snow. Il y a du soleil. Ce n'est pas la même chose qu'il y a des nuages. So, il y a des nuages. Uh, quand il fait mauvais, il y a des nuages. Et quand il y a des nuages, il pleut. So, when it's bad out, there's clouds. And when there's clouds, it rains. Et il y a du soleil, il y a beaucoup de soleil quand il fait beau, et quand il fait beau, c'est l'été. I said there's lots of sun when it's nice outside, and when it's nice outside, it's usually summer. Et il y a du vent, uh, il y a du vent quand il y a des nuages. Il y a du vent, there is wind, so it's windy. Il fait beau, I'll give you a little quick second to think about that. Très bien, it's nice out. Il fait mauvais. It's bad outside. Il y a des éclairs. Lightning. Très bien. Il y a des éclairs. Lightning. Il y a du tonnerre. There's thunder. Excellent. Et il y a un arc-en-ciel. Arc-en-ciel. Arc-en-ciel is a rainbow. Très bien. Arc-en-ciel. Il fait chaud. It's hot. Il grêle, il grêle en hiver, il grêle beaucoup. It's hailing. Well, ce n'est pas exactement en hiver. It's not necessarily always in winter, but usually when there's tornadoes, it hails too. Il pleut. Hier, il a plu. Yesterday, it rained. Excellent. Et il y a une tempête. Une tempête, c'est une tempête is a storm. Donc, une tempête de neige is a snowstorm. Très bien. Il y a des nuages, il y a des nuages, cloudy, il neige, snowing, très bien, il fait frais, c'est presque la même qu'il fait froid, it's almost the same as it's cold, mais c'est entre il fait froid et il fait chaud, it's in between it's cold and it's hot, donc il fait frais, it's cool, like a fall day, it's cool, we only, really only need like a light jacket. Il y a un incendie de forêt. Incendie is like a fire. Un incendie de forêt is a forest fire. Très bien. Il y a du brouillard. Il y a du brouillard. C'est dans le matin. C'est dans le matin, in the morning. Il y a du brouillard de temps en temps, sometimes. Fog. Excellent. Il y a du soleil. Il y a du soleil. It's sunny. Et il y a du vent. Il y a du vent. There's wind. It's windy. Oh, il y a beaucoup de vent. <laughs> il fait froid. Oh, mon Dieu, j'ai besoin d'un manteau. Il fait froid. I need a coat. It's cold. En hiver, il y a du verglas. So look at this sentence and tell me what you think verglas means. Verglas. So en hiver, il y a du verglas. Ça, c'est verglas. This is like black ice. So the black ice that's on the road. Quel temps fait-il is what's the weather like. So, il fait chaud. Il fait froid. Il fait beau. Il fait mauvais. Il y a des nuages. Il y a du soleil. Il neige. 
il pleut, il y a du vent, il n'y a pas de vent. Okay, so this kind of tells you when you should use specific terms. So I said il y a and il fait a lot, and so this is going to help separate and when to use what. Usually when it can be something, like it can be cool, it can be nice, it can be hot, cold, or bad, use il fait. So il fait whenever something can be something. And then we use il when it's an action, like a verb. So il neige, it's snowing. Il pleut, it's raining. And il y a when there is something. So il y a du vent, du soleil, and des noirs. You can't say, oh, it's sunny in French. You say there is some sun. So this is there is some wind. There is some sun. There is some clouds. Et il fait frais, beau, chaud, froid, mauvais. Il neige, il pleut. Il y a du vent, il y a du soleil, et il y a des nuages. So I'll leave this here for just a second. You can kind of look at it. But this just basically outlines when to use each specific one. Okay? So il, il fait, ou il y a. I'll quiz you guys just a real quick here. So with mauvais, are we going to use il, il y a, or il fait? Il fait. Très bien. Because it can be bad. And with show... Is it il, il fait, ou il y a? Il fait, très bien, because it can again be hot. Des nuages, with des nuages. Il, il y a, or il fait? Il y a, très bien, because you have some clouds, you can have some of them. Foi, il, il fait, ou il y a? Il fait, excellent, because it can be cold. Beau, Il, il fait ou il y a? Il fait. Très bien, because it can be nice out, remember. Du soleil. Il, il y a ou il fait? Il y a. Excellent, because you can have some sun. Il pleut. Très bien. And we have blank du vent. So is it il, il y a ou il fait? Il y a. Excellent, because you can have some of that wind. I'm going to skip past some of these. So, quel temps fait-il? Quel temps fait-il aujourd'hui? You should be able to translate this. Quel temps fait-il aujourd'hui? You've learned that quel temps fait-il. We just went over that. So, that means what's the weather like? And aujourd'hui, you guys should remember from French 1, is today. So, what's the weather like today? Quel temps fait-il en hiver? Remember, quel temps fait-il is what's the weather like. So, quel temps fait-il en hiver? What's the weather like in winter? Quel temps fait-il au printemps? C'est la même chose. Quel temps fait-il en été? Été. Et quel temps fait-il en automne? En automne. Okay, quel temps fait-il en France aujourd'hui? You can click on this link. I'll post this PowerPoint and you can check out the um, weather for today in France. So this is just basically accepting or refusing or asking people to go on on things with you, like invitations. So we have on fait, which means shall we, like on fait du jogging. Uh, D'accord, okay. So we have on va, on va au lac. How about going to the lake? On va au lac. Uh, oui, si tu veux, if you want. Si vous voulez, pour, la, for the formal one. So ça n'est l'informal. Et tu as envie de faire du vélo ce soir? Mm. No, ça ne me dit rien. No, I don't feel like it. So do you have a desire to go biking tonight? Nah, I'm not really feeling it. Ça te ou ça vous dit de jouer au tennis? Um, okay, bonne idée. Yes, good idea. So do you feel like playing tennis? Yeah, good idea. Why not? Tu viens au cybercafé avec moi? Tu viens au cybercafé avec moi? Uh, zut, désolé, je n'ai pas le temps. Sorry, I don't have any time. So this is just asking for invitations on this side, and this side is refusing. So you already know d'accord, you already know bonne idée, and you already know pourquoi pas. And si tu veux, you should be able to put together, si vous voulez aussi. Ça ne me dit rien, and de, uh, ça ne me dit rien is the one that you'll probably need to review. And désolé, je n'ai pas le temps is something that you should be able to put together as well. All right. Uh, Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire s'il pleut? Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire s'il pleut? What are you going to do if it blah, blah, blah? So you could say, Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire s'il fait beau? Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire s'il si y a des noirs? You could change out this pleut with anything. 
And then je vais, you already know, je vais, blah, 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 I'm going to, or I will, etc., etc. Avec qui, you can, you know avec qui, and then avec, où ça is where, où ça, où, où est-ce qu'on se retrouve. This one is a little bit difficult, I know you guys struggled with that one before. Où est-ce qu'on se retrouve, where are we going to meet at? So if we get separated, where are we going to go? Qu'est-ce qu'on fait? Qu'est-ce qu'on fait mardi, lundi, etc., etc.? So what are we doing on this specific day? You could say, qu'est-ce qu'on fait la semaine prochaine? What are we doing next week? On pourrait aller au café. I'm going to pause here for real quick because pourrait is part of the imparfait that we're going to be learning here in a little bit. So just pay attention to these endings, this A-I-T one, because you're going to need to know that pretty soon. Tu vas faire quoi samedi? So tu vas faire quoi? You already know. What are you going to do? And then you put in your day or the week or your whatever. You could say tu vas faire quoi en mars? What are you going to do in March? Pas grand chose. Pas grand chose. You could put that together. Not much. Rien de spécial. Again, you know that one. Rien de spécial. Nothing special. J'ai trop de choses à faire. So this is if mom wants you to do something. You could say oh. Maman, désolé, j'ai trop de choses à faire. Mom, I'm sorry, I have too many things to do. And then, je suis très occupée, I'm very busy. So she says, uh, can you do the dishes for me? You could say, oh, no, maman, je suis très occupée, désolé, I'm so sorry, I'm very busy. Hey, say tout pour le vocabulaire. So I'm going to end our video here. I hope this was a little bit better than me just clicking and recording each of the words there. Um, so that's it for the video today.